Hello everyone, I'm a jerk, and welcome back to Let's Play Undertale Blind. In the last episode, we found here. Congratulations. We'll swap Matatan, and Matatan's doing okay. He's doing fine. We found this place. This place. Oh boy. We've we've explored already. There's a lock here. We took care of the lock. And we are learning things. We are learning things about a human that fell down from the sky, was found by the king's son named Azriel. And they apparently had a good jolly time. Until so something bad happened, I'm sure. And you know what? We're a bad thing waiting to happen. Let's continue. A date is circled on it. Congratulations! Then, one day, the human became very ill. The sick human had only one request, to see the flowers from their village. But there was nothing we could do. The next day... The, the next day... The human died. Azriel, racked with grief, Absorb the human soul. He transformed into a being with incredible power. With the human soul, Azriel crossed through the barrier. He carried the human's body into the sunset, back to the village of the humans. Azriel reached the center of the village. There, he found a bed of golden flowers. He carried the human onto it. We fell down a bed of golden flowers at the very beginning of this adventure, isn't that nice? Suddenly, screams rang out. The villagers saw Azriel holding the human's body. They thought that he had killed the child. The humans attacked him with everything they had. He was struck with a blow after blow. Azriel had the power to destroy them all. But, Azriel did not fight back. Clutching to the human, Azriel smiled and walked away. Wounded, Azriel stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. The kingdom fell into despair. The king and queen had lost two children in one night. The humans had once again taken everything from us. The king decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. With enough souls, we can shatter the barrier forever. It's not long now. King Asgore will give us hope. You should be smiling, too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? No. No, I'm not. You're going to be free. Nope. Hello. What is this place? Let's not go that way. This seems like a holy place that we shouldn't go to yet. Let's go in the elevator. Oh, okay. Never mind. This is the place we should go to. Ba 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 da ba ba ba. 
I knew I'd see you eventually. Your warning was too ominous. So you finally made it. The inner journey is at hand. In a few moments, you'll meet the king. Together, you'll determine the future of this world. That's then. Now. You'll be judged. You'll be judged for your every action. You'll be judged for every EXP you've earned. What's EXP? It's an acronym. It stands for Execution Points. I'm done. I'm done. I'm out. I'm gonna play Xenoblade. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. I'm done. I'm gonna go hunt for fun. I'm just gonna go kill things. I'm gonna become a gosh darn. I'm not gonna get supposed to Xenoblade. A way of quantifying the pain you have inflicted on others. When you kill someone, your XP increases. When you have a good enough XP, your love increases. Love, too, is an acronym. It stands for Level of Violence. Alright, boot up Xenoblade. I'm done. I'm done. Just gonna play Xenoblade now. Uh, wait, uh, nope, I'm done. I'm, I'm done. 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 A way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt. The more easily you can bring yourself to either hurt others. Now, you understand. It's time to begin your judgment. Look inside yourself. Have you really done the right thing? To be fair. I had no idea what the heck I was doing. So you can't judge me for that. I was fighting in self-defense, first off, and I didn't know about the sparing thing until later. I didn't understand the whole concept of any of this stuff. So, you can't judge me for going on my basic principal knowledge of how I'm supposed to play these things. So, screw you. At least I didn't kill everything. Killed 26 things. 26. One was a nice sheep lady. So I always bring that back, because I'm a terrible person. And considering what you've done, what will you do now? Take a moment to think about this. I will beat your dead corpse because I don't even care, man. I'll beat people up. I don't care. Like, you know what? I'll leave. I'll leave. You want... Truthfully, it doesn't really matter what you said. All that's important is that you are honest with yourself. What happens now? We leave up to you. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Okay. Okay. I have a feeling that I might do some bonus episodes where I'll show alternate things if we had killed a lot, or if we had not killed a lot, so... We'll have to see. We'll just have to deal. Throne room. It's the throne room. It's the throne room! Of course it is! Of course it is! It's a coffin. There's a name engraved on it. I'm gonna whoop your ass! Okay, King, I'm here. I know you want to kill me and stuff, but I'm here. You ready? You ready for this, King? You ready? You ready? I don't think you're ready. I'm not ready. I'm not. You kill me. I don't. You just kill me. Whatever. I 
I killed his wife. He doesn't want to do it either! He doesn't want to do it either! That's pretty nice, actually. This will be fine. Be fine. Well, that's where we have it. That's this is the end. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Is anything like we still have? We have all these things. The mystery key, the heart lock, the worn dagger. Oh. That's, I can, that's a clipable item? Alright. Yeah, that's that's the best. <sighs> I don't think I'm actually ready. I don't think I'm ready. Like I I want to be ready. I'm like I want to I want to finish the story, but I don't know. I really don't. This game has literally been like really introspective to my own personal self. In all honesty, I'm not I'm not making that up. It does kind of show I'm a bit of a terrible person. <laughs> I mean, an uninformed person, but terrible nonetheless. If there's anything else to do, what would there be? We can't go back and change anything that I've done that was wrong, but... At the very least, I can call my good buddy Papyrus. I'm not even given that solitude. <sighs> or solace or whatever. I don't know. Well It's gonna be a long it's gonna be a long uphill thing, I'm sure. I should get some items. I don't have that much money. You know. Just gonna have to deal just gonna have to deal. <sighs> Life sucked recently. It really has. I don't know, like, again, I was kinda... Uh, I'm sorry, I was, like, I'm going really off topic. Cause, like, I usually don't do this, but... This game has really kind of... emphasized that. And I'm not really sure... I know that there's multiple endings, and that's based on my choices. My choices are literally kill everything or don't kill anything. I chose the middle option, which was, I don't know what I'm doing, kill some things, learn not to do it later. So I'm not going to get anything super great. I'm not going to get a happy ending, I'm not going to get a terrible ending. I'm just going to get mediocre. And that uh, kind of sums up how things are. Like, literally. This will be posted, I'm recording this on the 7th of October right now, so this will be posted way in, way from now, so... Hopefully, when I go to edit this, this won't be as reflective as it is now, but... I don't know. I feel like I'm gonna go into something... It's just a boss fight, an RPG. But... It's connected with me on an emotional level. Not by the proxy of how it's framed, but that does have great value. But by the proxy of how I interpret and how I approach things. And it makes me feel 
Really terrible, in all honesty. Like, very terrible. Hopefully I add this on post, I have no idea. But, suffice to say, I know it's going to be a long uphill battle. So, we'll have to say it for next time. I don't know what else to say at this point. I need, I'll probably, I should probably stop recording. <laughs> My eyes is getting hard to see because there is water in them right now. So. Oh my goodness gracious, it's gonna look so weird when I go to edit it, doesn't, won't it? <laughs> there I go again, caring about myself and not about others. I feel like crap. Alright, okay, well, nope. Please, everyone, have a great day. If you're not having a great day, I hope it gets better for you. I'll see you in the next episode, which will most likely be the finale. Thank you all very much for watching. Ciao.